Well, my buddy here asked me to spring uh, around the Grand Canyon. He's like, yeah, we're doing Tussie 50. And I was like, all right, I'm doing it. <laughs> it was the USA uh, Track and Field National Championship, so I wanted to come out here run against some good competition. We awesome. built up all um, summer. <laughs> yeah. This is the final race, final race of the season, and I'm really excited to try to see if I can finish the 50. You don't get to find many road ultras uh, in places, and uh, this happens to be the road ultra. Anyway. I think I'm just the most excited just to be out there and just not have to worry about real life for a couple hours. Our team name is I Must Ask You a Question. We grew these mustaches for this race. And uh, that's, <laughs> that's they came out pretty, pretty uh, beautifully. So. We're all moms, yeah. and our team name is Score, State College Occasional Running Enthusiasts. So we just wanted to make it cute and fun. Uh, this is actually the second year that I've done this as part of a, uh, a relay team. So uh, first year we came up and did it with four people. Um, this year we're doing it as a Supra, just two of us. So. I'm excited. I didn't really train very much for this, so we'll see how it goes, but it will be fun either way. <laughs> Go! Table, we got water. Uh, have to go through salt, rotation, salt, salt. Salt. so they have to. Yeah, okay. Okay. Got about a mile on him. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You just did 47. He just went through 46. Excellent. Thank you.
<laughs> that feels good to be done. That was a great finish, but I'll tell you what, you want to go fast down that hill and you can't. Those quads just lock up. About 40, I hit a wall where I thought, you know what, this is getting kind of a little rougher than I thought. But I felt like the race started around 25 at that hill. That kind of separated the pack. Thanks for having me. This is great. I enjoyed it. That was my first 50. And it was uh, about as miserable as I expected. 40 miles of racing, 10 miles of survival. Whew. So my wife and I lived in Chicago for eight years and then just moved to Ithaca two months ago. So getting acclimated to hills, but wasn't ready for this. So yeah, at 33, I felt great. I thought maybe I could contend for the win. And then we started going uphill right there. That's not even a big uphill and just wet noodles for legs. And uh, then I realized it was gonna be tough. All right, first relay. It's very, very tough. I mean, but I think that if anyone looks at the course profile in advance, they'll know what they're getting in for, so. And is this your first? Uh... first yeah, first time. Uh, the, the team has been talking about trying to do this for a while, but this is the year we finally got some bodies together and guys that turned 40 to all consider ourselves a Masters 40 and over team, so. Personally, based on the training I've been doing, I knew that uphills were a weakness which I know you can't really avoid on a course like this. Um, and that turned out to be the case with the one uphill leg. It was tough and didn't run quite as fast as I'd liked, but um, the next two legs, not downhill, was able to run you know, a pace that I thought was uh, you know, somebody I feel good about, representative fitness. track and field for the United States here with us today is Roy Perun, right here in front of Sadney here. USATF, right with us. Third place. 
place in uh, 712 from Oakland, California, Anna Zaleski. Our second place in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, 709.59, Justina Wilson. And in first place, defending her win from last year from Farmington, New Mexico, in a time of 6.49.45, Heather Hext. Number 10 picked up his award already. Peter Banks from Las Vegas, Nevada. 10th place, 727. Ninth place from State College, Pennsylvania, in a time of 704.25, Mr. Josh Latovsky. Thank you. Eighth place in 649.47 from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Elijah Shekena. Jarvis, fifth place from Berryville, Virginia, in 632.29, Brad Hinton. Brad Hinton is also the Masters National Champion this year, Brad Hinton. And the winner, who's also on his, already on his way back, driving back to Cleveland, in a time of 5.49.39, Israel Merkel.